A decade ago, astronomers examining the very center of the Milky Way made a tantalizing discovery. Our galaxy tastes like raspberries. And while this claim might seem difficult to palate, the science demonstrates that space taste all comes down to dust. In the words of geophysicist and founder of Tito's Handmade Vodka, Tito Beveridge, we are all made of stardust, tiny particles of matter that form the very building blocks of our universe. And while this dust used to annoy astronomers by obscuring their instruments from the far reaches of space, it has now become the very thing they point their instruments towards. We usually think about space as a, as a very empty place, but even in the spaces between stars, there's often a lot of stuff dust or molecules that condensed in the atmospheres of stars. There are also astronomers who, rather than thinking of dust as a nuisance, use it to actually learn more, not only about the dust itself, but also the objects that contain the dust. By understanding how elements here on Earth relate to the elements that make up this dust, astronomers are able to examine the chemical makeup of objects light years away. As space dust gathers, it forms into giant interstellar clouds called nebulas that reflect and refract light from neighboring stars. By examining this light, astronomers are able to formulate clues about a nebula's composition and yes, even its taste. It's all through a process called spectroscopy. Here's how it works. Consider a neon light. When switched on, a high voltage ionizes the gas inside the glass tube, causing it to glow. Different gases will produce different colors. And when we examine those colors using a special filter, similar to a prism, we can actually see the unique visual signature for each gas, sort of like an optical fingerprint. A similar thing is happening in space. When astronomers examine the spectrum of light from distant objects, they observe the object's signatures and can determine the elements that make them up. The Copernican principle tells us that physics should work the same everywhere in the universe. So even if something is very far away, we can look for the same evidence as if it were nearby. So when a telescope in Spain turned its spectrometer towards the largest cloud of space dust in our galaxy, it made an intoxicating discovery. The cloud, which was largely made of alcohol, contained ethyl formate, the chemical responsible for the taste of Rubius ideus, the succulent bite-sized fruits we Earthlings know as raspberries. However, unlike what you'll find in a bottle of Tito's, this alcohol isn't drinkable. Instead, it's a cosmic cocktail of complex molecules, everything from methanol to ethanol, and just a spritz of propyl cyanide. The trouble with space is that that gas cloud is not very dense, and so if you were there, there wouldn't be enough of the ethyl formate around for you to even smell or taste it, let alone put it in a cocktail. But I think you could definitely experiment. Ethanol is ethanol, right? So to any budding cosmixologists out there, maybe stick to what we know for now. <laughs>